India has taken a historic leap in its semiconductor journey. At the Semicon India 2025 conference in New Delhi, Prime Minister Narendra Modi today received the country's first fully indigenous 32-bit microprocessor named Vikram. The Vikram processor, developed by ISRO's Semiconductor Laboratory, is designed to survive the harsh conditions of space launch vehicles. Union IT Minister Ashwini Vaishnav presented the processor along with test chips from four other approved projects to the Prime Minister. He called it a milestone in reducing India's dependence on imported chips. Minister Vaishnav outlined the rapid progress of the sector. Five semiconductor units are under construction. The pilot line of one unit is ready and two more will begin production soon. Designs for five additional units are progressing steadily. Vaishnav have invited global companies to invest in India, highlighting transparent policies, strong domestic demand, and a skilled talent pool. Electronics production in India has grown six-fold in the past decade. Exports have expanded eight times. Rising demand across sectors ensures that semiconductors are becoming central to India's growth story. According to a Bastion research report, 20% of the world's chip design engineers are based in India. Global giants like Qualcomm, Intel, Nvidia, Broadcom and MediaTek have large R&D and design hubs in Bengaluru, Hyderabad and Noida. This makes India not just a manufacturing destination, but a global hub for semiconductor design. The Semicon India program, launched in 2021, provides incentives worth 76,000 crore rupees to attract semiconductor manufacturers. It aims to create a self-reliant semiconductor ecosystem, reducing external dependence while fostering innovation.